Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can input driver parameters or say subwoofer TS parameters into Horns Resp. So this is our series about Horn Resp. That is a program which you use to, you know, model horns. You can model transmission lines. You can model sealed and ported or vented subwoofer enclosures as well in Horn Resp. Now, when you open it for the first time, this is the window you're going to be greeted with. It is pretty confusing, but once you get the hang of it, trust me, it is the best. And I would say the best program to model sealed ported transmission lines horns subwoofer boxes so this is the default horn loudspeaker parameters these are the ones which you cannot edit and you cannot delete them so what are we going to do first things first we're going to select add and as you can see it is now telling us this is a new record so you can now give it any name so let us say we give it the name sealed and then we're going to say dayton ultimax because that is the subwoofer which we're going to add in this video so those are the parameters which we're going to add but before we do that let me also give you a brief introduction about the fields on the top so ang this is your radiation angle if you double click on this it will give you different options so clicking on this left arrow this is 0, 0.0 pi which means it is an infinite case if you're not going to use that next if you have loudspeaker in the corner which is 0 0.5 x pi then you have loudspeaker on the floor against a wall which is 1.0 x pi and then you have loudspeaker in the center of floor this is half space radiation this is 2.0 x pi and this is the one which we are going to use why are we going to use this because this is the one which all other programs including winist unibox that is all your other subwoofer box simulators out there this is the radiation angle which they use so if you plan on comparing the frequency response of say horn resp to win ist then you should be using 2.0 x pi next up is eg so this is the voltage at which you are testing it is not the power this is the voltage so if you double click on that you will notice you have to enter the power in watts and the impedance in ohms which means that at this point when you plan on entering the eg or the voltage you should know how you are going to wire your subwoofer whether you're going to wire the coils in series parallel and then how much power you plan on throwing at them so let us say our setup is going to be you know in parallel and we plan on pushing say 1400 watts and we know that because we are wiring our subwoofer in parallel the load impedance is going to be 4 ohms so that is what we're going to enter over here so 1400 is our power and then 4 ohms now once i select ok you will see that we get the number 74.83 which is the voltage and eventually once you build your subwoofer box you are going to gain match the amplifier right and you will come across this calculation wherein i just opened calculator but you'll come across this calculation wherein the internet will tell you to you know gain match and what you're going to do is you're going to take the rms watts of your sub so in our case we assumed it was 1400 and then it is going to tell you to multiply it with the ohms so if your resistance from the subs is 4 you're going to multiply that and then they're going to tell you to take a square root of that which comes out to 74.83 which is what you will have to set on your dmm or digital multimeter when you're trying to set gains for your amp for the subwoofer box which you have built which is why eg here is the voltage in horn resp next up we have rg so rg is your additional resistance or say the extra resistance from the wiring and for the purpose of modeling a subwoofer box you can leave it as a zero 
Next up, we're going to ignore this section, which is S1 through F45, because this is for modeling a transmission line or say a horn. We are going to focus on entering your subwoofer TS parameters or your driver's parameters in horn risp, which is the section over here from SD till ND, in fact, from SD till L. So what you're going to do is you're going to double click on SD. Now do note that horn resp works in metric system. So you will have to use a calculator to convert some values if your subwoofer parameters are not in metric. And we are going to try to enter the parameters of the date and audio UMI 1222. So SD needs to be in centimeter square. If you do not have it in centimeter square, then again, you will have to use an online calculator to convert it into centimeter square. And SD is also the surface area or the cone area. So in my case, it is 528. So we're going to double click on 350 here and type in 528 and then click anywhere else. So our SD is saved as 528 centimeter square. Then you have our R E so R E for this is 4.2 ohms right over here and an important point before I forget is the parameters which we are entering over here are for one single coil if you have a subwoofer or a speaker which has dual voice coils make sure the parameters you are entering over here are for a single voice coil and later on in the video i'll show you how to switch between the different wirings for a dual voice coil subwoofer you can like wire it in series or in parallel you can configure that in on resp as well next up is fs or the resonant frequency in this case it is 31 then you have vas in liters now here and if you see the vas is not mentioned in liters so here it is compliance equivalent volume vas is 1.87 cubic foot so we need to convert this to liters so we're going to go to Google and note this down. So 1.87 cubic foot and cubic foot to liters. We're going to enter over here 1.87. It comes to 52.95. So we're going to go back to horn resp and over here we will enter 52.95. Next is QES. So let us check what QES is. It is 0.71. So that's what we're going to enter over here. 0.71. QMS is 2.75 and QTS is going to be calculated which is 0.56 same as what is mentioned over here if your subwoofer parameters mention QTS as something else well QTS is actually derived from QES and QMS so you have to trust what horn resp is calculating then you have LE so let us look for LE over here so here it is this is the le.66 so that's what we are going to enter double click and 0.66 p max is the maximum rms wattage so power handling rms rms is what you need to enter not the max but rms is what you will enter in p max so we're going to enter over here 800 and then x max you need to enter the one way x max and why do I mention one way? Because some subwoofer manufacturers give you the linear excursion or the maximum X max in both ways. That is the subwoofer going up and down. But you need to know one way. In our case, it is 22. So we're going to select OK. At this point, everything else should be calculated on its own. So like CMS, MMD, and your bl now coming to bl if you are going to wire your subwoofer if it is a dual voice coil subwoofer and you're going to wire those coils in series then you can double click on bl and you see bl changed to bls this means that dual coils are connected in series and you see the description over here on the bottom over here if I bring my cursor back to BLS, you see dual coils connected in series. If I double click on this one more time, it changes to BLP, which means dual coils connected in parallel. Now, if you have a subwoofer with a single voice coil, then just leave it as BL. 
and at this point we have successfully entered all the parameters all the ts parameters for our subwoofer and you can save this to the horn resp database how do you do that you go into file and you say copy driver to database and then give it the name so in our case it is dayton and ultimax 2 i think and this is a 12 inch model for which we have entered the ts parameters so we're going to say copy and that's it you have successfully saved this data ultimax subwoofer in your horn resp database now let us say i select add one more time and it says save changes to current record we're going to say yes now if you want to pull in some other subwoofer into your modeling system you will go into file and you will say paste driver from database and you can see i have the dayton ultimax 212 which we just entered and i also have the dayton rss 13 ho 4 if i select that you will see that the parameters like your pawn area bl all of those changed and if i say paste now the driver which is on here or the subwoofer whose ts parameters are loaded over here are the date and rss 13 h 4 so there it is peeps that is how you enter your subwoofer parameters into horn resp and in the next video i'll show you how you can design a sealed box using horn resp and we'll go down the line you know design a ported a vented so this is our series of horn resp tutorial for beginners so if you like this series make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel